Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. It's a little early in the morning, still working on my coffee. I was up late reading last night. It was a real page turner. I got up early this morning, um, as I often do when I've got a lot on my mind and I'm excited about things. There's a lot happening and we're very blessed. I've got a lot of energy going on. <laughs> so I thought I would get up and, and dive right into this because I was contacted by someone and it, and it blew my mind and I thought, I've got to share this. I've got to share this. This asked this person if I could do so. I'm going to call her B. Uh, B contacted me to say that she stumbled upon my videos and that she was very grateful for them, that they really gave her hope, you know, just a lot of nice things. And that is wonderful. I, I get those um, messages and they really give purpose to what I'm doing and I appreciate them. And it inspires me and motivates me to continue to produce content on whatever subjects might pop up, whatever might be happening with me uh, at the current time or whatever somebody else, somebody reaches out to share with me. Well, I responded, we started having a little exchange and I wished her well. She mentioned having hope, seeing that I am now in a um, loving and healthy relationship. I told her, you know, sometimes that's all we have. All we have is hope. And once we lose that, we really don't have a whole lot. So if I can continue to, uh, you know, sprinkle that here and there, then I'm, I will do so uh, because there is hope. I know what it's like to be in that really dark, awful, lonely place of living with a narcissist, of um, being with a narcissist, having uh, to toxic people in your life. When you make that move to be rid of them and remove them from your life, your life isn't over. Your healing is just getting started and it's a, a bit of a painful process. I, I will absolutely say that, but it's definitely not over. Um, it's actually just beginning. I felt compelled to share this because I hear from many, many people who feel like they are stuck with a narcissist. They are stuck in a miserable life. There's no way out. They see no hope. They feel as though they're doomed to be with that person and live that way and be treated that way for forever. And B informed me that she lives in a bus and I was like wow <laughs> okay and she went on to say that not only does she live in a bus she's never been happier she has never felt this level of happiness that she now has living basically in a box her words she'd rather live in a box than be back in that relationship of nearly 20 years she's happy living on a bus I <laughs> I messaged her back and I said, you know, this is inspiring. I need to share this. So many people feel stuck. So many people feel there is no out. They have no options. Would you mind if I share this? She went on to tell me <laughs> that not only is she living in a bus, that she had been planning this for the last couple of years. That two years ago, she started selling everything she had, letting it go just to pool her money to make this getaway from this toxic person. Huge. Dedication, inspiration, motivation. Wow. I was floored. And I thought to myself, yeah, anything is doable. You know, there, there's eBay, there's LetGo, there's Craigslist, there's, there's all these apps that you can use to start selling your things to get money together. That's what she did. She started selling all of her stuff to get away from this awful person. There's always a way. You gotta find a way, you gotta make a way. And what I always emphasize is that was a struggle for her. I'm sure that she was scared. I'm sure her, her insides were churning. I'm sure that there was all kinds of mental conflict going on for her while she was taking these steps. But once she made up her mind, that was it. That was it. Okay, now she's out. Now she's living in a bus. Now what? Well, now that she's away from him, she says she's never been happier. She's, she's living in a bus and she's happy. So guess what? She's gonna have clarity that she has never had before. Now she can move forward. Now she can make a plan for herself. Now she can do the things that she needs to do to get on her own two feet without that toxic funk 
seeping into every pore of her body. She has the ability to do that now because she is away from him. And this is what I try to emphasize to everybody. You think there's no out. You think this is it for you. But if, if, if it means couch surfing with your friends, staying with, you know, a relative, uh, you know, a temporary place, you've got to get away from them so you can think clearly so that you are not bombarded with their negative crap because all that does is muddle everything you you it's impossible to hear yourself think and to to understand your own thoughts and your own wants and your own needs when you're being smothered by some toxic a-hole i i just had to share this i had to share this i want to give hope b gives hope B is amazing. B is my like hero right now. I can't believe what she shared with me. And I just absolutely had to share it with you. I, I, I did so with her permission. I think she's inspiring. I think she's amazing. I wish her well. I hope that everybody who sees this and hears this sends some thoughts and, and prayers and good vibes her way so that she can continue to move forward. The tone of our message, our exchanges, it was not the tone of somebody who's been beaten down and dragged around and, and, and mentally abused and, and, and used. It was the tone of a really happy woman. It was the tone of someone who was free. She inspired me and I wanted to share it with you. I had to share it with you. Uh, there's hope. You are not stuck. You are not at the end of your rope. There's, there's a life out there waiting for you. You've got to figure out how you're gonna get out of the misery to start your life. B did it. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll be back really soon with another video. Ciao for now.